<laughs> Hello, Long Riders. I hope you're having a good Tuesday and welcome to a new time video. Today is the maggot cluster. There's a deadly fly that an Australian guy wanted me, I think it was an Australian guy, wanted me to tie. And of course, we tie flies to catch fish, not fishermen. And this is a good example of fish to catch, or a fly that catches fish, not fishermen. It's a wild looking fly, but it is deadly. And we're gonna get to the vise right now and tie this maggot cluster for you, and you should have them in your box too. Okay, we're gonna start with a size 12 um, emerger hook or caddis hook, worm hook. I like the gap between the shank and the tip. Um, this fly is really deadly and easy to tie. And I just kinda like these hooks, and they hold the fish well, not many fish it get off. So I'm going to use this hook. What we're going to do here is debarb the hook. You want to debarb the hook before you tie a fly. You don't want to do it on the water after you tie the fly and then you break the hook off and you just waste all that time tying it. Okay, so debarb before you tie. Now, Guess what kind of thread we're using? Oh, white 70 denier. Yep, I always use the fine thread. I don't see the reason of ever using heavy thread unless you're spinning deer hair. I'm gonna use 70 denier white thread, run it all the way down. And I'm gonna cover most of the hook up because this is to make it look like another piece of the fly. Another piece of maggot. So I'm gonna cover the whole thing, come back to the middle of the hook. Um, we got this like yarn. I'm not sure. Really, it's the, it's just white. You tie a green weenie with, but white. And we're gonna just show you how we're gonna cut that in different lengths and uh, get ready to make the rest of this fly. And we'll show you here in the, each step. Real easy to tie. Really deadly. So what you're going to do is cut this stuff in different lengths, uh, maybe a half inch, quarter inch, an inch, different lengths. Now you're going to burn the end with a lighter, just enough to make the tip brown, not black. I mean. I do it a couple times and I use them to tie anyway. They work. This is deli, but make it brown. Okay, now you're going to grab three of them you have prepared in different lengths, burn the ends of three of them. You're going to tie it, put them thread in the middle of the hook, and then in the middle of them, Three things that you made. You're gonna skewer it down with four wraps. Then you're gonna go around the bottom of them in between the hook shank and the material you just made. And then at the end of each end of it, around the middle of it, around each end, the middle, secure it real well. Because that's the only way you're securing it to the hook. And once you feel you have secured, At this point, I like to throw a whip finish on. Now 
That was a real easy tie. So hey man, go check out some of our other videos that we tie. Um, we got some, a lot of videos, 100 some time videos. Go ties up some of these flies are all deadly, all killer, all work real well. We don't tie flies for fly fishing, man. We tie flies to catch fish. And go check out some of our other flies that are deadly and catch fish. Keep your lines wet, out of the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip.